I've got some BMW news for you guys. So BMW is in the middle of releasing all of their 2023 model yield ordering guides. And in this video, we're gonna go over the two series coupe. Last year, they introduced the second generation two series, the G42 platform launching with the M240i X Drive in Canada. Now we finally have the 230i X Drive. So I'm gonna go over the pricing for both engine variants, what the changes are that I noticed, no new paint options, unfortunately, but there are some tweaks to the packages and an increase in the price as well. So let's hop into the product bulletin. Before I do, smash the like button. Now let's get into the numbers. Okay, so BMW provided me with this breakdown of what the changes are from the previous generation 230i and last year's M240i. So from the previous generation of the 2021 230i, there's a price increase of $4,200. Now, while the price of the car has increased, the level of the car has increased as well. It is a much better chassis, an overall better car with a lot more standard features and optional equipped features. So we now have remote engine start is a standard feature. There's newer 18 inch wheels for it. There's a new Steptronic transmission with the paddle shifters are gonna be a standard feature. Auto dimming folding mirrors are a standard feature. Electronic seats are a standard feature. The storage compartment package is a standard feature. There's a new standard trim. Front and rear proximity sensors are now standard. Automatic three zone climate control is now standard. So the back seats have their own climate control as well. High beam assistant is a standard feature. Front collision warning is a standard feature. So while the price did go up, a lot of standard features were added to the vehicle. They also now have Sanstec as the standard instead of leatherette from the last generation. And we're getting the new BMW curved display screen as well with the 2023 model year. That's also going to be coming in on the M240 is getting that curved display screen. Now there was some package changes like the BMW is going to like let you know what's in the new essential package. What was removed from last year. Ambient lighting is now part of that essential package. So standard on the M240 but part of the package on the 230i. Looks like essential package on the M240i. It's just kind of removing the full lumbar support and just giving drivers lumbar support. So there's no lumbar support on the passenger side. The storage compartment package also got removed from the uh, essential package, I believe, because it's now the standard feature. The enhanced package now includes head-up display. So that was previously unavailable on the last generation 2 Series, which is now part of that enhanced package. Enhanced package is also going to have the adaptive LED headlights as well as the Harman Kardon sound system. It's a new Harman Kardon sound system for the new generation of cars, so it sounds even better than it did before. We now have M Sport package, which is new because last year, or at the very end of the last generation 2 Series, the M Sport became a standard feature. There's some new wheel options that are exclusive to the 230 that you can't get on the the M240i. There's a new M Sport Pro package for the 230i and on the M240 M Sport Pro package changed a little bit. It's now decreased in price. Uh, the wheel options, the 893s are no longer part of the M Sport Pro package and they're part of the M Enhanced Track package which is new for the M240. So they kind of moved some of the packages around. Some things that were in M Sport Pro last year are no longer there and they're part of that M Enhanced Track package. Uh, the M Technology package and the wheels are part of the M Sport Pro package last year. Now in the M Sport Pro package we we have the red brakes. So if you want the red brakes and the shadow line headlights, you have to get that part of the M Sport Pro package. Uh, so that's very interesting how they did that. Looks like the M seat belts are no longer part of that M Sport M Sport Pro package as well. And then you go into your standalone options. A lot of new wheel options. Some options got removed. Some are new. Like you can now get the 791 black wheels on the M240 for a $500 option with all season tires. Before uh, last year, they are only with the performance tires. So that's an interesting upgrade as well. Looks like the 797s also come with all seasons. Before, only the 792s were coming with the all seasons. Looks like most of the options on the 230i are following suit with the new M240i. So if you're comparing 230 from last generation, like these are good to know, but if you're already used to the 2022 M240i, then these are kind of just following suit. Not really much has changed. Looks like adaptive M suspension did get an increased price of $250, and you can now get the 893 wheels as a $1,000 individual option instead of only part of that M Sport Pro package. 
Not much else has changed for the M240i besides active stop and go cruise control getting a price increase. There is a new aluminum trim on the inside, so we now have the rhombimical trim from the X3, which is now available, and the Texagon trim is no longer available. And then there is the new wireless device charging, which gets a new code, so it's a little bit different. Maybe it will be a little bit better, and it won't just heat up your phone and not charge it. And then paint options for the two series, no more mineral gray, astral blue, or sunset orange. We now have Portimao blue and Brooklyn gray gray no orange option for the new two series instead of the orange you get thunder knight metallic leatherette is out perforated sand stack is in and vernasca leather got a 400 dollars increase and no longer dakota leather looks like one new option is going to be the canberra beige option is making a return to the two series for 2023 all right, now let's get into the actual ordering guide so you can see what all the prices are on all the packages all of the options laid out in the proper ordering guide not just what the changes were from the last model year Main thing to note here is the start of production is for July of 2022 in the Mexico factory. So feel free to pause this and review it at any time. I'm just going to kind of touch on the main part. So M240i coming in with a $2,000 price increase. I was hoping that we would see some new paint options, but apparently that's not the case. On the 330i, some paint options are now available in that Mexico factory, like Tanzanite Blue. But for some reason, Tanzanite Blue is not available on the 2 Series, so that's very interesting. Other thing to notice is Canberra Beige is now an option where it wasn't last year. And Vernasca Leather got that $400 price increase. Since the 230i packages are radically different from the last generation, I'm just going to kind of focus on my highlights of what the differences are for the M240i. Essential package has gone down $100, but they've also removed the storage compartment package. And they reworded driver lumbar support. Last year it used to say uh, lumbar support, removal of passenger lumbar support. Now they've changed the code and it's just driver's lumbar support. Like the M240's enhanced package also decreased by $100. One interesting thing here is we now have uh, 6U3 Digital Cockpit Professional as well as ZHU Head Up Display. So, as far as I understand, the new curved display screen doesn't have the Digital Cockpit Professional and it's kind of redundant here because I believe 6U3 and ZHU are the same thing. They're renaming Head Up Display as Digital Cockpit Professional, or at least that's what I've seen on other ordering guides. So, it'll be interesting to see what exactly those two codes mean once these cars actually start rolling in we get a little bit more clarification on that the m enhanced track package now includes the wheels the adaptive suspension and the m technology you can get both the wheels and the adaptive suspension for a thousand dollars each so that's basically putting a fifteen hundred dollar price tag on the m technology package for larger front brake disc and the extra dedicated engine oil cooler and then we have the new m sport pro package so if you want red brakes you can only get them in the m sport pro package last year you could get red m sport brakes for a 650 dollars option now it's only available part of this package same thing with shadow line headlights so last year red brakes Shadowline headlights for individual options. Now you can only get them through the M Sport Pro package, which is very interesting. High gloss black exterior content is part of this package, but you can still get it individually by itself. Then you have M Sport package on the 230i because it will not become a standard with that anymore, unlike at the end of the F22 generation. Now we start to get into individual options. So compared to last year, all season tires are now optional on the 791 wheels. You can get no charge 797 wheels with the all season tires and you can get the 797s with performance tires and then lots of options on the 230. Like I mentioned for the M240i the 893 wheels are now a thousand dollars individual option. You do have the new 50 year emblems are part of this ordering guide and then it looks like everything else has pretty much stayed the exact same besides the new aluminum rhombimical trim. Active Shop and Go Cruise Control got that $200 price increase, and the Parking Assistant Plus with Surround View, very interestingly, is not optional on the 230i and only available on the M240i, which is very, very interesting. But everything else seems to be pretty much the same. And then we're just going to go through the rest of the standard features, so you'll see the 230i has a lot more standard features than it did before. The only difference I'm really noticing from last year is the 6WC BMW Curve Display Screen, but feel free to pause and go through this at your own pace. Looks like they also renamed the load through system as the rear seat pass through as well. I have a feeling that's going to be the same thing. And then we're just going to get into the images of all the wheel options. Once again, feel free to just pause this to review what the wheels look like, what the tires are, and what the wheel sizes are and the tire sizes are for everything. Thanks so much. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Smash that like button, subscribing to the channel, doing all that good stuff. If you guys are in the marketplace for two series and you want to order one to your specs, feel free to reach out to me at my email down below and I'd be happy to help you guys through that. Thank you guys so much.
Appreciate the support, and I'll see you next time.